Yeah, because you're okay. all creatives. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. So what happened was uh, Lapili sent her verse from Spain. Mm-hmm. And then she decided she could come to Ghana in, I think, February. So I'm like, okay, good. So when she comes, I have to make sure I shoot the video because she's going to be here for just two weeks. Okay. So when she came in February, we shot the video mm -hmm. and before she left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I'm loving all of the songs. You've collaborated mm -hmm. with Yapono, like you said. Kofi Morele. Yes. Yakoto is another collaboration you have on the Akonale. Yes. Yes. So that's um, track three produced by Kuvi. It's called mm -hmm. Somebody. And featuring Yakutu, she's a Ghanaian German um, songwriter. Yeah, she's a writer as well. Uh huh, singer. Um, so with somebody, we flip the rules. So this mm -hmm. is where this one it's a woman that's courting the guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're saying if you want, <laughs> yeah, if you want somebody to love you, I could be your somebody. Could you be my somebody? So mm. it's like a woman empowerment song where um women are confident in themselves and they see a vulnerable man and maybe he's scared of being loved or he rather doesn't have the fame you know men are scared of being yes they are of being yes. committed and things like that uh -huh. so this song yeah we flipped the roles and said if you want someone to love you i could be that somebody could you be that my somebody yeah and then um yeah i'm actually proud to say i think i featured like five girls on the ep yes efia is one of them as well I yeah believe. so yeah we mentioned yakutu we mentioned mm -hmm. lapili efia who you mentioned and then there's also ohima dadao she's a okay. rapper and then eno yes eno baroni mm -hmm. uh -huh. so um eno baroni and strongman are on time be money that's track number two okay then ohima dadao is on little light and um and then track seven, six, you know, six already comes over. Track seven is Me Alone, and mm -hmm. it's produced by North. North is part of La Mem Gang, and he actually ah. dropped an album today. I think he dropped an album, yeah, today, Friday. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite song from the EP? One that you really poured your heart and soul into? I'm sure you did that with all of them, but one that really, really <laughs> took a lot out of you oh i don't let me see it's hard oh gosh um hmm at different times different ones were my favorites mm -hmm. yeah that makes <laughs> i mean sense. at the time that the concept of libi libi came like to me that was like 2018 that was my favorite okay. and then i really like time be money mm -hmm. i can't really choose but at the moment looking at what's going on in the world and stuff i can say with plastic pollution and now with corona we're going to mm. go back to square one yeah we've tried to recycle and reduce the use of plastic but now we're, we have we're, we have to use much more rubber and plastic yeah yeah i yeah. think at the moment hey shout out to oare oare 10 Hi. at the moment my favorite would be african mermaid which is track seven mm -hmm. yeah 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 Mm -hmm. Amazing. Now, as I said before, you are really, really creative, creative and Thank I love you. that about you. Mm -hmm. Do you always have full creative control over your content, over the video, over the direction it goes in? Yes. So with all my music videos, I've personally produced about 11 music mm -hmm. videos, I think, myself. Um, yeah, I have full creative control. Amazing. So I choose, I do the styling myself if I don't have a stylist. Mm -hmm. I scout the location myself. I make the calls for, or I just tell like my PA to make the calls for maybe the standby generator and the lights and stuff like that. I wow. do the pay, payments myself like directly. <laughs> I'm, like a, I'm like a market do, woman. Do oh, you do this because fun. you don't I want don't to delegate? Like, no, I mean that no it's just fun for me because it's an art project for me mm -hmm. you get it it's it's fun like it's creative for me i love it so um you can always delegate you can still delegate but the delegation will be more of like a messenger kind of rule mm -hmm. but i still have to do it i don't know i don't know Fair it's enough, good. Yeah. yeah but i enjoy doing it just i i will never say oh it's stressful and that kind of thing no i love it okay i love Would it so yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, even the scouting, like getting the dancers. I know them personally, so I call them myself. I organize the this or something they will say, Oh, well, we should rehearse at this studio. I'm like, Okay, cool, what time? And they'll mm -hmm. tell me how much it costs. So when we finish we pay 
you know okay. so it's okay. it's lots of fun yeah so i do that myself but when it comes to the music my musical director is one love my brother yeah so nothing goes out without him checking it and most mm -hmm. of the time he records me if he's not in the country i record with nikwe nikwe is a producer he's a musician and he he's he's also a music teacher so okay. i record at his place or if i'm doing features with certain artists sometimes i go to their studio Mm -hmm. but that's when one love is not in the country if he's in the country he'll just record me okay yeah mm -hmm. so he's he'll check the stuff even if he's not in the country i'll send him like a voice note of what like the melody i'm going to use the lyrics and he'll check like okay maybe if it's cool then i go ahead so um that's how the creative process is for me okay i'm glad you have someone like one love to support you he knows you he knows your mind he exactly. knows how you work and it's great to have someone yeah. like him yeah would you say you're a perfectionist when it comes to your music if you don't think it's done like you've got all the lyrics right you won't release it will you re-record and re-record and re-record until you get it right <laughs> i'm a perfectionist but my brother is worse we're both very good so it's terrible <laughs> so let's say i'm recording like you make me record it like maybe i'll do like i can do like 20 takes of one thing because he wants it perfect to the extent that when you are performing live, there's not mm -hmm. going to be any friends. Of course. When people record, and then when you hear the live version, you're like, mm. So he trains me in a way that I am in the right key, right yeah. everything, so that it's the same when it's live. That's amazing to have yeah. someone like that. I mean, by 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 yeah. by it's hard. You'd be like, oh, but I'm singing that too well. You're like, no, no, no. Maybe he had it or it or something mm -hmm. you know it ha nothing has to be there the words have to be clear out of your mouth you he know? has a good ear he has a really good ear <laughs> ear uh-huh so that kind of thing yeah mm -hmm. okay amazing now i know i have to let you go soon but i want <laughs> to play a short game with you i'm going to ask you three questions and they are would you rather questions okay, okay. have you heard of the game would you rather hmm i think so kind of it's kind of like never ever have i ever ever kind of similar I, so, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to ask you three questions the first okay. one is would you rather lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak hey gosh. i know that oh this is hard <laughs> damn okay so like at this stage that i am right now right yeah mm -hmm. would i rather as you are this is so <laughs> because <laughs> i know you um, have to do both our, yeah because you need to read to gain knowledge because you are learning every day and knowledge is infinite you know mm -hmm. so that's really difficult but i like talking to and saying my mind <laughs> otherwise i'll be stressed yeah you don't, I don't like that. that yeah so i'll rather lose the ability to read god forbid but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so bad okay mm -hmm. okay would you rather be able to talk to land animals, animals that fly, or animals that live under the water? I think I know which one you'll choose. Ah! But... <laughs> ah! Animals that live under the water. Of course. <laughs> I wanted to ask, why do you call yourself the African mermaid? Are you a great singer? Do you love to swim with dolphins? Or what is it? Oh, swimmer, dear. I'm good at swimming. Okay. But, um... I've loved the ocean since I was like three years old, four years old. My mom <laughs> always took us to the beach. I love water or to the pool, but these days I prefer the beach. Um, sad, sadly though, our beaches are very polluted these days. So when you want to go to the beach, you have to kind of go outside Accra. You'll be swimming with rubbish. Sometimes I see things from Tesco. It's like I'm at Tesco. Oh gosh, so yes, the bag. Brush, a shoe, a bag. It's anything. crazy. It's bad, it's bad. So, um, yeah, I call myself that because I've always loved the ocean. At one point mm -hmm. in life, I wanted to do oceanography, um, like to study oceanography. And um, my favorite cartoon growing up was The Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. And when I used to go swimming, like every weekend in the sea, like at the ocean or whatever, I always used to imagine, because I was very little and I used to go far. And sometimes my mom would just sit at the show and be like, hey, hey, be careful, watch out. But she would let me go. So sometimes the big waves are coming. All I do is like wish for the mermaids or mommy water to protect me. You know, when you are a child, you <laughs> oh, have like so an, Im yes. an imaginary friend. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So I used to believe I have that friend that used to protect me. 
So, um, and then when I was a teenager and I used to go swimming in Romania, the mm. ocean in Romania is the Black Sea or the Dead Sea. So mm. it doesn't, there's no life. The only thing that survives is like jellyfish, but there's no life in that sea. So you can go really yeah. fast, like a big pool. There's not, yeah. really, they don't really have waves. And I used to swim with my friends. I'll stand on their shoulders, somersaults. Mm -hmm. Like they used to call me, they used to call me um, Sirena, which means mermaid. Okay, uh -huh. it makes sense. So, uh -huh. Yeah, I just love the ocean, so I just named myself the African mermaid. Yeah. It's a beautiful name. It's very unique. Unique to you. Thank you. Okay. The last question for you is: okay. Would you rather be able to see ten minutes into your into your future, or would you rather undo one event that happened in your past? Oh gosh, your question is <laughs> something else. Um. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Nayoka, I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, well, if it was you, you help me. If it was you, what would you choose? I want you to choose first. <laughs> oh, please. No, I'm not going to copy you. You just tell me. Okay, I would undo a mistake from the past. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like whatever happened in the past was meant to have happened. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't really have regrets about anything, you know? Okay. That's good. That is really good. Yeah, and even if I had or had regrets, I delete things easily, so I don't remember. My friends always tell me that you, you don't remember things. Like, I don't remember negative or bad things. Good. Like, if something well, negative or bad happens mm -hmm. to me, I deal with it then and then. I don't keep it in me, and I don't keep grudges and stuff like that. And I forget, like, I forget to be angry. So yeah. I'm like, okay, am I supposed to be angry at this person? Or am I talking to this person? Like, I forget sometimes. You're very vocal. You can tell. You're transparent. You just say what's on your mind, and then Maybe, you let it go. I and think move on. so. Yeah, I think so. And I think my mom is like that. But I don't want to choose any because into the future. <laughs> okay, I'm going to assume it's a positive thing. I'm going to see into the future. Yes, so I'll choose. I'll choose that. I'll choose the future one. That's a good answer. That's a good yeah. answer because maybe right if you look into your future and you come back to your reality you can change what happens then you never know depending on what it is ah i may be prepared how is it properly exactly or so yeah that's not okay. a bad option that's not okay. a bad choice i told you i don't copy your own i told you <laughs> <laughs> Sister Debra, yeah. thank you so so much for your time today please how's our baby boy doing he's doing so well good, he doesn't good, like nice. being indoors but there's not much oh. we can do you know mm. He wants to be outside and explore and have fun, but mm. for now he has oh. to be indoors. I know. Yeah. I know. Oh, let him watch cartoons where there's a lot of outside in the cartoon. That makes a lot of sense. Nature. I mean, yeah. a lot of games and stuff. But okay, thank you so thanks. much. People you should stream the album, stream the EP, go listen to thank it. Thank you. Absolutely. The African Mermaid EP. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, okay. too. And thank you You're all welcome. of you for watching and listening.